Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support, and today I'm going to go over how to set up your Starlink Connect radio for the three different panel manufacturers, Napco, DSC, and Honeywell. First, you need to make sure that the unit has been registered on the Napco ComNet site. Once that has been done, we can come over to the SLE Management Center, the Napco NOC. We would program our radio as normal, finally clicking on the Starlink Connect tab, click on Panel Configuration, and this will bring us over to the iBridge portion of the product. Now, by default, the radios are set for a NAPCO. So, if we were leaving it on a NAPCO panel, we would pick the panel type, the keypad type, RP1 Classic, or the K-Style, the keypad address, keypad beep and sounder, if you'd like that on. We must enter the master security code of the panel, and also a PC security code, if applicable. You would then click on Save Radio Configuration, and that will send the information down to the radio. So it is important that the radio is powered up during this operation. Next, we would come down and set our subscriber options, and click on Save Subscriber Options. And once that's done, you should see an IP address appear in this box along with notification enabled saying yes. We can then go down to the subscriber information. This is where you would enter the system name that's going to appear on the notification and also what services you want the customer to be able to use on the app. Last, we would come down and upload zone descriptions and user codes to appear in the iBridge Messenger app. Moving on, if we were going to set this panel to a DSC, we would change the manufacturer to DSC, pick the panel type and the partition number, the device is going to look at. Click on Save Radio Configuration. This will send the change down to the radio. And once this happens, the radio is going to do a complete reboot into DSC mode. The page is going to refresh. And now the radio is set up for a DSC panel. Everything will pretty much remain the same allowing your subscriber rights for Z-Wave and notification. Make sure that it's enabled for Messenger. On the DSC panel, there's no uploading and downloading user codes and zone descriptions. Those are going to have to be manually entered in if you want those to appear on your iBridge Messenger section of the app. Finally, if we're going to set it to a Honeywell panel, we pick Honeywell, we're going to pick our panel type, and also the device address of the unit and the partition number. Same options with your subscriber rights and making sure notifications are enabled. And also with the Honeywell panel, you will have to manually enter your zone descriptions if you want those to appear on the iBridge Messenger section. Just to review, we went over how to set up your Starlink Connect radio for the three different panel manufacturers, Napco, DSC, and Honeywell. And as always, you can visit us on the web for more information at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.